All right, let's go feed our rabbits. Now, the rabbits in this big pen are a special breed. They are incredibly large. And we have two breeds that are in here. First of all, I'm gonna put some water here because animals need fresh water every day. Very, very important. Now, the rabbits that we have here, two different varieties. This one right here, that is a Flemish giant. And that rabbit has been bred to be very large. And in many parts of the world and the United States, People depend on rabbits for food. And this is a very large rabbit that would be considered a meat production rabbit. Now I'm gonna pull out their grain. Let's see if some other rabbits will come out and join us for the food. Nothing. <laughs> well, I'm gonna assume that they are well fed from yesterday, but I'm gonna have Laura bring the camera over here and I'm gonna step back because there's a second kind of rabbit that's here. And Laura's showing you three rabbits. The two on the left are the Flemish giants. The one in the back is not. That is a Rex. And that's a full size Rex rabbit. And if you've ever read the story, the Velveteen Rabbit, that is the species of rabbit in that book. And their fur is incredible. It's so soft. Truly an amazing rabbit. Now, when I first blended these rabbits, when I put my Rex rabbit or my Velveteen rabbit with my Flemish giants, there was a lot of bullying that happened and they have to settle on a hierarchy. And then finally, my Rex rabbit put his head down below the other rabbits and basically showed that he was going to be submissive and he was accepted as part of the family group. And now they will often eat together, drink water together, and they will sleep together. But it took a while for that to happen. I just heard a very large buzzing. Sometimes we get carpenter bees that actually lay eggs in the wood. Um, all bees are important and they're pollinators. So we welcome all the bees that we have. All right, we're gonna leave this pen. Let's go somewhere else.